Hey, in this video, I'm going to be reviewing every single Pakistani limited overs jersey from 1981 to 2020. And I'm going to break this up into two parts because there's almost 60 jerseys. So this is part one, and I hope you enjoy it. So I'm going to look at all the jerseys on my laptop, and then we're going to review them. And this is just going to be my opinion, so don't take this as gospel. Don't take this as, as a fact, and don't judge me on it. This is just my opinion and my thinking on every single jersey. For the first jersey, we've got the 1981 to 82 and 1984 Benson and Hedges World Championship of Cricket. Now, I never liked blue on a Pakistani jersey because it doesn't make any sense because the Pakistani flag is green and white and because we can't have white on a jersey, even though there's going to be a few of these jerseys where there's going to be white on it, you can't have too much of it. So our secondary color is either two shades of green like this jersey, light and dark green, or yellow. But blue just didn't make sense. This jersey, and it's from the 80s, so I'll be a little nice to it, you know, and I'm not going to, you know, absolutely trash them. But I'll give it a 4 out of 10 because this is from 1980s, so you can't expect a lot of uh, good designs on it. But um, Australia had some really good jerseys during this time as well. But I'll, I'll give this a, a 4 out of 10. If this was in 2020, I'd give it a 1 out of 10. This... It's the same exact thing, just a different design, green and blue. Blue does not make any sense at all. I'm going to give this another 4 out of 10, even though, um, to be honest, this is very, very bad um, because it's just two basic colors and the blue doesn't make any sense. This, they tried to do something a little different, the 1986-87 Benson and Hedges Challenge. Uh, they added a bit of white in it, which does make sense because it's Pakistan's flag color but again the blue does not make any sense at all I'll give this for them trying a little bit I'll give this a 5 out of 10 now this jersey this is a very elegant jersey now but could you imagine if the Pakistan was written in white how beautiful that would look instead of it being written in blue um, but again this is a lot more elegant now there's not a lot going on in this jersey but it looks good and they went with a light green shade and light green as I'm wearing this jersey light green is the is the color that I love seeing on a Pakistani jersey not dark green or um, different shades of green as you'll see in either this part or the next part but this I'll give this a 6 out of 10 would be an 8 out of 10 if um, there was yellow instead of um, the blue or maybe a dark green so this will get a 6 out of 10 1992 World Cup. Now this is one of the most iconic Pakistani jerseys because duh, we won the World Cup. Um, and this is the first World Cup with uh, the jerseys, limited overs jerseys being color jerseys. And the concept of this, that every team had the same jersey, like the same design up the top, um, and then different color, I actually love that. I absolutely love that. Now, having said that, I do like when 10, 15, 16, however many teams play a World Cup, come with different designs. There were 10 or 15 different designs. I do love that, but I also like this. And as far as this light green is concerned, I love this a lot, and I'm going to give this an 8 out of 10 because it's so elegant. It's, it's you know, there's not a lot going on, and it's so beautifully done. So props to Hogger Sports or... Hoger Sports, I, I don't know how it's pronounced, and ISC for making these jerseys. This is beautiful. Next, the Lightning Bolt. Now this, when it comes to the Australian Lightning Bolt jersey, Australia's jersey is beautiful. Because if I'm not mistaken, their bolts are dark green or light green, something like that. Like a shade of green, I believe. Not black and red. But I could be wrong. I think they're green. Now here, had these lightning bolts been dark green, this jersey would easily get a 9 out of 10. But because these are black and kind of reddish slash burgundy, I'm going to give this a 6 out of 10. But this is a very beautiful jersey. This is... What were they thinking? They went from 1992 Cricket World Cup to the the one the lightning bolt and now to this white jersey this is horrible looking this is um now i understand why this was white i could be wrong but i believe this is when they were still playing limited overs matches 
or ODIs with the red ball. I could be wrong, but I think this is that. But again, man, this looks horrible. The, I will give this a 0 out of 10, straight up, 0 out of 10 for this. And this is, what is going on here? What is all this? This gets a freaking 0 out of 10 again. Most of it is blue. Then there's green. There's again maroon and white. And then just, what is this? Oh yeah, this gets a 0 out of 10. This is horrible. Um, uh, okay, so this reminds me a lot of the 2019 Pakistan Cricket World Cup jersey. It's as if we ripped ourselves off. Or, I don't know, maybe AJ Sports ripped us off by bringing this design back. Um, what is, like, I, I, I like the idea that it's dark and light green, but... Again, there's nothing, like, it's it's just so plain, so bland, so blank, and so... I don't know how to describe it, but... Um, the fact that they had light and dark green, I'll give it a 2 out of 10, because they tried something different, and light green works with Pakistan. So, this gets a 2 out of 10. Now, this jersey, the Mandela Trophy from 94 to 95. Now... The yellowish gold and the maroon. Now, I don't know why this was chosen for a Pakistan jersey. Now, if it has something to do with Nelson Mandela, or if this was for a charity, or, or if this was for... I don't know what this was for. If it's for any of those things, understandable. If this is just what they designed, this is horrible. So this... But I... I always like when teams write their name at the front instead of having a sponsor like Pepsi or whatever. Sri Lanka does that. They write Dilma T bigger than their t t team. It looks like it's Dilma 11 playing, but this, it has Pakistan on it. So two out of 10. Yeah, I'm being harsh to these 1980s and 90s jerseys, but you know, that's, that's the, I, oh my God, look at this. Mm, this is horrible. Light green is, the color is beautiful. The shade's beautiful, but it just is Pakistan. And a PCB logo, and then Pepsi on the on the left. But this would this would this color would have looked so beautiful in New Zealand, on that grass, light green on a light green New Zealand or England grass looks so beautiful. But because no effort was put into making this, this is gonna get a zero out of ten. But come on, this this is a light green on it, so I'll give it a one out of ten. Sorry, I had an interruption in the middle of the video, but I'll get right back to this. This is the Wales World Cup 1996 jersey, and this is when, um, again, like the 92 World Cup, all teams had one basic design and then different colors for their own um, team. And this jersey, this, this honestly looks really beautiful. It's very well done, and it has all those different colors because it's for the World Cup. I will give this uh, a 9 out of 10, to be honest. Actually, you know what? 8 out of 10. Um, because it's 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 basic, but it's so beautiful. You know, sometimes you don't have to try too much to make a jersey beautiful, and this is one of those jerseys. Yes, there is you know the the color thing going around and the lines and everything, but it's still basic. And the fact that they have light and dark green on there, it it looks very beautiful. So I'll give this an eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Sorry. Uh, this jersey. This jersey is. What do I say about this? Blue, again, makes no sense. I wonder what this jersey would look like if that blue was a light green. But it would be beautiful that way, I think. But with the blue, it looks horrible. Again, I just don't understand why Pakistan was given a blue blue jersey. Like, it makes no sense at all. You know, um, Sri Lanka, Sri Lanka's flag doesn't have blue in it, but it's an island, so you can go with the water theme, I guess, makes sense, right? Um, but then other countries go with blue and I'm just like, why, why? And this is one of those examples. Blue just doesn't go with Pakistan. I'll give this. But the fact that it has a star on the side, it kind of does, you know, increase its value in terms of the design. So I'll give this a 5 out of 10. But I hate the blue. I hate it. This jersey, if I'm not mistaken, this... Is this the one Saidan were scored 194 in? It could be this. Um, 
But yeah, this is simple. This is beautiful. One little thing that I hate about this jersey is the fact that the Pakistan star, it's on the right instead of being on the left. Your team's logo or your team's cricket board's logo should always be on the left. Like, you know, you wear it close to your heart. It should always be on your left. But the fact that this has... No, this is not the one that he scored 194. And I could be wrong. I think it is. But it has logos from Sri Lanka, New Zealand. And there's another board. I think that could be India, maybe. So I like the fact that those are faded in the back. And then Pakistan written at, written at the front. So this can get a 7 out of 10. Basic, but it works. But the logo needs to be on the left. Okay, this, what the hell is going on here? And the, that sleeve with the, I, Wild's Golden Jubilee Tournament, and this is 1997. So all that I know about Pakistan cricket from the 90s, it's from YouTube highlights because I was born in 97. So I probably wasn't even born when this jersey was made. But why does it have red, white, and blue on the side? It looks like it's... Is this... What is this? A Pepsi jersey? Or is, is it Pakistan's cricket jersey? Or is it Pepsi's cricket jersey? This looks horrible. I'll give this a 2 out of 10. Because at least they have Pakistan written at the bottom. And it's kind of, you know, the design's good. And the logo's on the left for the Pakistan... Or the PCB logo. So... Yeah, I'll give, I'll give it a 2 out of 10 for that, but what the hell is the other side? Like, makes no sense. This jersey. Keep things simple, and they will look beautiful. This is simple, it's elegant, it's good looking, it's easy on the eye, and the shade of the green is really beautiful. I will, I will give this a 7 out of 10 for being simple but being effective. So, this gets a 7 out of 10. Champions Trophy. Wow. I don't know who won this tournament. This jersey, I've never seen this in any of the highlights. I've never seen this. Standard Bank ODI Series South Africa. I need to look up the highlights for this. This jersey gets a 9 out of 10 for the green, the light green and the dark green. I would give it a 9.5 if the star and the moon was a little lower and bigger. Because right now it's covered by Pepsi. The fact that it says Pakistan on the side and then the star and the moon is there and the shade of light and dark green. It looks so beautiful. This easily gets a 9 out of 10 for that. Beautiful jersey. I need to look up the highlights for this. Again, these Jubilee Independence Cup. I have no idea. I've never seen this jersey before. Why does it have red on it? Why does it have goldish yellow, burgundy, white? It's 0 out of 10. Straight up. What is this? Like, oh my god. When only, when you thought it couldn't get worse, we come up with this jersey. This looks like they were like, okay, let's make South Africa's 2018, 2019 T20 jersey. They were making it, and then they were like, oh, no, 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 wait. Let's make it look like the 2019 South Africa Cricket World Cup jersey. Let's make it look like that. And when they were done mixing these two up, they were like, oh, no, but this is for Pakistan. Let's add a shade of Pakistani green. And when they made it, they looked at it. It looked horrible. They puked on it. And then they were like, well, we puked on it. Now there's puke and four different colors mixed together and jerseys mixed together. But it's too late. Let's give, let's give this away. Let's give this to Pakistan. This jersey gets a negative 10 out of 10 for being one of the worst looking Pakistani jerseys. People are going to, some people might hate me for this. Because they'll be like, oh, but it looks so good. Opinions, opinions. This gets a negative 10 out of 10. One of the worst looking Pakistani jerseys of all time. And then we go from that to this beautiful piece, Red, uh, white and green, the Pakistani flag. This looks like a Pakistan team. You know what this looks like? This jersey looks like a Pakistan field hockey team. Now, I don't know if you've ever seen a Pakistan hockey team, but if you have, you know what I'm talking about. If you haven't, then search up on Google. This looks like a hockey jersey to me, a field hockey jersey for Pakistan. One complaint, again, the star needs to be on the left, but... It's the fact that it's green, dark green, and white, it's beautiful. So this gets a 9.5 out of 10. It would get a 10 out of 10 if the star was on the left. Beautiful jersey, I need to buy this, but I've never seen this for sale. Um, okay, this, I, I guess for the Coca-Cola Cup in Sharjah in 1999, what they were like, hey, 
we need a jersey for this tournament. And then whoever the jersey maker was, I'm, I'm guessing AJ Sports at that time, AJ was like, hey, we don't have a jersey. What do we do? They were panicking. They put a logo here, the PCB logo. They're like, hmm, what could we do? Oh, hey, here's something we could do. Let's put another logo. Let's put another PCB logo at the front. Horrible. But at least they didn't puke on it, so I'll give it a 2 out of 10. But what is this? Like two, two logos? Oh, this is a thing of beauty. Good God, I love this jersey. 1999 Cricket World Cup jersey. 10 out of 10. 100 out of 10 for this beautiful jersey. One thing about it, but I'm not going to, you know, take any points off for this, is that for the 99 Cricket World Cup, they took the World Cup logo and put it at the back, which made no sense. Why would you put it at the back? It should have been at the front, right where the, it says the Pepsi logo on the right. That's where the World Cup logo should have been. They fixed it in 2003 and they have kept it that way to this day. And it makes a lot more sense. But this jersey is such a beautiful jersey. The best Pakistan jersey of all time, hands down. That's not even an opinion, that's a fact. Uh, again, they, they were rushing to make this. Always happens in the stupid Coca-Cola cup. They were rushing to make a jersey. They were like, what do we do? Well, we have a PCB logo. What do we do next? Let's put it here. Hey, we did that last year. Okay, you know what? This time we're going to switch it from a white to a yellow. Horrible. Two out of ten. You know what? One out of ten because they did it again. Now this jersey. Uh, so there's white. That's good. White and green. Works for Pakistan. Uh, but it's a little too basic. I'll give this a six out of ten. But it's a very memorable jersey. I believe this is when Pakistan beat Australia in Australia on Eid Day. Which is funny because I'm acting as if they won the series. I don't think they did. I think they just beat them in one or two games and lost the series. But uh, this is, I watched the series over and over again on YouTube. And um, yeah, I'll give it a 6 out of 10. It's a memorable jersey. Uh, 2000 jersey. Um, again, my cousin, my 10 year old cousin could have made a better jersey. Uh, it's so basic, so bland, but at least they didn't mess it up. I'll pass it. I'll give it a 5 out of 10. Or actually, you know what? I don't want to pass it. It's too basic. After the 99 World Cup, when you had one of the, not one of the best, you had the best looking jersey, you went to this. Um, 4 out of 10. I'm not passing this. Uh, this, basic, and I know I keep saying this, elegant, but it is elegant. It's good looking. It's easy on the eyes. Players look good on it, wearing this because I've seen pictures of Shoei Bakhtar and the way he looked, he, he looked amazing in this and when he would run and bowl, beautiful. This gets, the shade of yellow is a little weird. Uh, 7 out of 10. This jersey, okay. Now I've talked about bland jerseys. This is a very bland jersey, but for some reason, I don't know. My opinions are are messed up. For some opinion, for some reason, this looks really good to me. But um, I'll give it a six out of ten. Uh, it just looks it looks good for some reason. I'll give it a six out of ten. And uh, I don't remember a series from the 2002. I've seen this jersey in highlights though. 2003 season. This is the jersey they used in the World Cup as well as you'll see right after this. Um, now this for a series looks okay. For a series I'll give it a 6 or 7 out of 10. But when you talk about the Cricket World Cup, I'll give it a 5 out of 10 or a 4 out of 10. Because you need to make special jerseys for the World Cup. Because they last, you know, they're a part of a legacy. And what I hate, what a lot of countries do is, let's say the World Cup's in July. They'll have a jersey in May and they'll take the same jersey to the World Cup and just put a World Cup logo on top. Or sometimes teams will play a, a World Cup in a jersey in July and then use the same jersey in September in a, in a series. And I, and I hate that. Like There should be jerseys just made for the World Cup. That way, you know, they stay iconic and they, you know, the, their value doesn't drop. And they did that. They they used the same jersey they used two months ago or a month ago or whenever. And they brought it to the World Cup. So in the World Cup, this gets a 4 out of 10 because they didn't come up with a new design. And it's the design they had wasn't that good. 4, four out of 10 for this. 
light green and dark green will always work. This easily gets a 7 out of 10. Beautiful looking jersey. Could do a little more with it. It's a little too basic, but it gets a 7 out of 10. And um, this is when Pakistan and India were playing series regularly, and this was one of the best times. This is when I really, you know, started to understand uh, cricket, and I would ask my dad questions. I'd be like, hey, dad, what is this? What is that? What is this? You know? And I remember players from this era like it was yesterday. So this gets a 7 out of 10. And for some reason, a year or a year and a half, or maybe even, yeah, a year and a half, after this jersey was done with, they brought it back. Why? It doesn't make any sense. They used the same jersey in the World Cup. They used the same jersey before the World Cup and they brought it back. So this time around, it's going to get a 1 out of 10. Because they didn't put any effort into this. ICC Championship, Champions Trophy. And a Cricket World Cup, you couldn't come up with better jerseys. They're gonna get, a, gonna get a one out of ten. And light green and dark green, more light green, less dark green. Nine out of ten. Ah, not actually eight out of ten. Come on, it's it's not that it's not that good looking. I'm just you know this is when I was really getting into cricket, so I'll give this an eight out of ten. And this is the last jersey. This is the same jersey as they used before. This time around it's going to get a 6 out of 10 because this was a champion's trophy. You should have come with a new design. But the design they have already is is good looking. So I'll give this uh, 6 out of 10. Um, so that's that for all these jerseys. And I would really, really, really um, like to thank the person who made these jerseys. It's at... Abdul Aha Jawed on Instagram. I don't know if that's his at for Twitter as well, but please, please, please go follow him. He made these and I wouldn't be able to make this video. I mean, I would be. I would just, you know, find these jerseys on, I'd find pictures of players wearing this on Google, but that would take forever. The fact that he made these and he did such an excellent job of making these. Please go follow him. He put so much effort and hard work into this. And it's unbelievable. I could never do such things. So props to him. And he, this is where I got these beautiful pictures from. At Abdul Aha Jawed on Instagram. And please go follow him. And please follow me as well. At Cricket underscore Jerseys on Twitter and on Instagram. Thank you so much for watching. Part 2 will be uploaded very soon. Take care of yourself. Screw coronavirus, stay safe, stay home, and play backyard cricket.